Here we have an object that's built up out of cutters. If we look at the modifier stack, we see that this has about 26 different cutters on it. And if we hover over it and we hold control while we're in hops tool, we can see that there's dots showing as little approximation points for every cutter that we can actually click to bring back. However, the general way that you bring back cutters is by pressing Q and using something called ever scroll. Generally clicking it will take you into something called bull scroll where you can basically scroll through your bull ends in order to find a bull end that you want. And then when you find the one that you want, you can press A and you can continue scrolling until you find the next one that you want. Press A again in order to drop that one in your list of bull ends appended to visibility until you finally have all the bullions appended to visibility that you actually want selected. And then whenever you click, you now have those particular bullions appended to your visibility set to visible. So now we can actually grab them and move them around. However, in the event that you want to, I accidentally uh, jumped out of the collection. I'm so used to pressing one to isolate my collection. But anyways, so from here, let's say you wanted to go back into Everscroll in order to find more bullions in particular that you want. Well, because you accessed it in its classic mode, it no longer will have the ones visible that you had visible to begin with because it makes them all invisible for you to begin scrolling through them. So previously there was a mode called additive mode where basically if you set your scroll type to be additive, it would make it where whenever you scroll, it will keep the ones visible that you originally had visible and then allow you to scroll through and find the ones that you want to append to visibility and press A to do so and not actually disturb those as you are working. So just letting users know that that has been improved for this particular update. So now you see that in addition to the ones that we originally made visible, we have additional ones that we've made visible and we're able to select our object, press Q, go into ever scroll again and we're able to scroll through the remainder and we're not actually disturbing the ones that we already have set to visible. In fact, to show how we've taken this step further, if we press tab, you can see in the dot UI that the particular bullions that have been made visible prior to starting the operation whenever you're in additive mode are not even displaying the UI. So this means that you can definitely tell visually which ones were set to be visible prior to instantiating the operation. So that way it's a little bit easier, but even better is that in the event that you wanted to say, apply a swath of modifiers, like for example, I want to apply from Boolean one to Boolean eight, which is called Boolean seven. I could just hold shift, click on this checkbox, and we see that it actually applies all the way up to that particular modifier, simplifying the operation greatly. In fact, from here, we can do the same thing, just applying all those modifiers, including the ones that were originally appended to visibility. But even better is if I right click, it will make it as if I've never done any of that applying. So basically making applying a theoretical thing that we're just testing out. But if we were to left click, we actually have applied what we've done. And so now we have selected the Boolean that we were on and the scroll that we were doing. But whenever I select the main object, we see that we've applied a large amount of modifiers, including the ones that were previously set to be visible prior to us starting the operation. So in the event that you still need to apply them, you're still able to do so because applying within a range is still that important to us.